to something very important. Now, last week we spoke about the Nigerian Meteorological Agency's reports for the forecast of 2018, the rainfall forecast for 2018. Now, we also have reports that um, Nigerian Hydrological Services Agency had said that they had issued a flood alert for seven states, Kebi, Niger, Kwara, Kogi, Anambra Delta, and Bayelsa on the floodplains of River Niger. The agency has also warned that the steady rise in water levels and weather forecasts in the coming weeks have put Nigeria at risk of witnessing a recurrence of catastrophic flooding similar to what happened in 2012. Now, as a result, we have that more than 100 communities in Niger state have been submerged following the overflow of River Niger. Farmlands and houses have also been destroyed, leaving residents of the affected communities homeless. Although there are no reports of casualties, the Niger state governor, Mr. Abu Bello, has visited the communities with other members of the state executive to find ways of relocating the residents. Now, the question is, Chukudi, did we not have enough time to know that this was a likelihood of happening. Thank you very much. What were the emergency services that were pre prepared? How did we prepare ourselves for this? Why are we now doing medicine after death? This is not even about what is happening in 2018. This is about what happened in 2012. Mm -hmm. You would recall that I think about two weeks ago, we discussed the fact that, you know, the relevant agency has come out to say, the factors that we saw in 2012, we have also noticed these factors. It is because... We always embrace the fire brigade approach. We don't act quickly in our best interest, and that is why there is a problem. If the incident happened in 2012, what we should have done was to say, never again. See, more will still come. That's and this is not part. about what has been written in the book of Revelations, or Amagidon, or End Time. It is anticipating for all of these issues and dealing with them. We keep talking about the greenhouse effect. We keep talking about ozone layer depletion. We keep talking about climate change. And once the heat or once the sun comes out and, we, and everywhere is dried up, we go back to normal again and say it will not happen again. But we forget that we are even creating more problems for ourselves. Remember I told you that there are certain parts of Nigeria in the past where if it rained, people would go for Thanksgiving because it wasn't normal. But now you have climate change that so affected our weather that it is extremely hot whenever it's hot, and the rainfall is torrential whenever there's a rainfall. Now, no, people no longer say there shall be showers of blessing, because it will appear like you are even inviting the rain. What we must do is always plan. And how do we plan? When we don't anticipate, how do we plan when those who have acquired the necessary skill set are maybe selling a, a selfie stick or doing makeup artists? or doing comedy uh, videos on Instagram. And I'm not saying all of these are bad. I'm just saying that it, we are at an all-time low, looking at development in our great country, where what we are supposed to channel, oh, Nigeria is blessed now. Indeed it is. Human and natural resources. People that are supposed to say, this is what we must do for our great country. We have lost a lot of these people. There are still many in this great country that all they need is the enabling environment to thrive and do well. See? Other people are waiting to get your best hands. They don't send you. It's a dog eat dog world. They want your best doctors. Let me know. They want your best professionals to add value to their society. Adding value to society. I mean, the guest that we're having right now is someone that has three first class degrees and has been working in London. Oh, because at the end of the day, can they pay him in working Nigeria? In, London. Oh, oh. Can they he pay has been working in, in London. London. All oh, right. You see, is... let me just quickly say this. See, it's not even about can they pay him in Nigeria even though we know minimum wage in our country is 18,000 naira, but some people are receiving 13.5 million as running costs. Where are they running to? We don't know. But the truth is, passion to serve your country eh, will be fueled by what you see that encourages you. True. The young man might say, I love my country. I want to contribute my quota and make Nigeria great so that my name will be written in the annals of history. Stella Amaya Adadebo put her life on the line. Why? Because she wanted to save Nigeria from an outbreak of Ebola. Imagine what would have happened if Patrick Sawyer had escaped from that hospital. This is a woman that had everything going for herself, but she placed her life on the line. We need to create that enabling environment that will stoke the fire of patriotism to make this young man say, I know in London, Nepal don't used to take lights. I know in London, I don't need to iron seven shirts now because in two weeks, I might not have light again. But... Create an enabling environment that will make the young man say, I want to contribute my quota to nature with a national development. It should be London. Is America might be somewhere saying, eh, so they have to like, let's go and toast him. 
and bring them. Canada is somewhere saying, we in Nigeria, what are we saying? We are pursuing them. It's such a sad thing. We don't want to see a lot of this brain drain happening over and over again. I look forward to seeing a Nigeria that is conducive for our young people, our talented people, to want to come back home. And even those in Nigeria, not to seek a way to flee. We're having incidences of migration. People see what is happening at, on the Mediterranean, yet they still look for avenue to flee because they feel that at the end of the day, it has to be better outside Nigeria. It has to be somewhere better. But this is all that we can take for now. We hope and our thoughts and our prayers are with those who are affected by the flooding in Nigeria. Now more than ever, we need to push out the message about climate change and global warming and hoping that our governor will take, our government actually will take this as a reason to be proactive in ensuring that we do not have a repeat incidence in this again. Thank you so much for joining Chukri, us. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Very good. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.